Hey Niagara, how are you doing? Sean Gawad here with the David Zagal Real Estate Team with your June market update. And Niagara, what I'm going to discuss today is what's going on with the current market as well as a bit of a future outlook at that, what may be coming. So what we experienced at the very beginning of the year was unprecedented exponentially houses selling for exponentially over the asking prices. We felt by February that this market was going to change uh, due to interest rate hikes, as well as the amount of inventory that started to hit the market. Now here in Niagara, you know what, we actually kind of hit our spring market a little early. Uh, spring market actually came during February and March. Uh, as interest rates started to raise, demand diminished in exponential amounts. Demand just actually went pretty quiet. Uh, tail end of March and into April, very few showings on listings. Now, what I want everyone to understand is what is occurring is what's called a correction to the market. All right, so the government implemented uh, the foreign buyers tax at 20% all across Ontario, not to mention banks are raising interest rates to counter inflation. We knew this was coming. We knew the uh, prices that were achieved during January and February were not realistic. And what we're going through is this correction. And what's happening is that prices are decreasing to compensate for the change in the interest rates and mortgage rates. Okay? So it is only natural that we know prices are going to come down. Okay? So we're now here in June, summer's coming ahead. What we're seeing is a lot of houses listed. Actually for June here in Niagara, there were 1,600 houses listed. So there is a lot of supply with very little demand. We're now going into summer too, where a lot of people are gonna go on holidays. Uh, there's gonna be some more interest rate hikes. So what I see coming is this. Summer is going to be what it is. Uh, very few sales. Um, the market will continue to kind of balance and correct itself. I do anticipate by fall that there will be a line in the sand and prices will finally hit a point that are palatable to buyers again. We're already noticing that right now with some of the pricing that's going on. Sellers are starting to get aggressive with their pricing and Prices are becoming quite attractive to buyers again. Now, buyers still are sitting back, kind of waiting, waiting to see how high rates will go. Also waiting to see how low prices will go. All right. Now, there is a particular narrative kind of being put out by economists, government and banks. There is a narrative that interest rates are going to go up, 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 up and up. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Interest rates will go up but they will stop most likely by the end of this year or early next year. And then what we will see is buyers figuring out what they can afford with these new mortgage rates. So if you're a buyer right now, I encourage you, don't listen to all the kerfluffle about the rates. Please do an educated chat with your mortgage broker or bank. They may portray something to you that is not quite what is being portrayed in the media through this crazy interest rates, interest rates, interest rates. If you do your own due diligence, you may find that this is the perfect time for you to purchase. These prices are getting very, very good and attractive. We haven't seen this for a very, very long time in our market. And the other side is this. The majority of homes currently listed are a lot of sellers trying to catch the fumes of the previous months. Now, I'm going to tell you, sellers, the fumes are gone. You're not catching what we had earlier. The reality is this. Yes, prices are decreasing, but prices will not continue to decrease for years and years and years. There is a line in the sand coming, and the line in the sand is going to come sooner than later. Because once we figure out with the interest rates and prices, buyers will figure out what's going on and start coming back to the table. There is a lot of festering demand out there. 
So I anticipate by fall, a lot of these listings that are currently listed will come off the market because the sellers have missed the boat. We will have a softening in inventory again. And not only that, the new sellers and the new buyers coming to the market will accept the new prices. And then slowly, slowly, we will start seeing gains in the market again. So that's why I'm encouraging buyers now to do your due diligence, get your pre-approval and take advantage early before more demand comes to the table. If you're a seller who has to just sell their home and you're not buying and you can wait, I encourage you to wait. This market will come back in the next two to three years once everything's settled. The other reality is this. Come the end of next year, they're most likely going to have to slightly drop the interest rates to get our economy going. This is something that's not being discussed right now because they're fear-mongering you about these rates, 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 rates. Okay, the banks want to make up for some of their lost money through lending really low interest rates for the past two years through COVID. Now they have an opportunity because of inflation to raise interest rates and what they're doing is making people maybe mildly fear-mongered into going into fixed rates. Please, if you're doing a fixed rate, stick to a two-year fixed rate or ride the variable. And when I say ride the variable, I personally am riding the variable on my own properties as well because I am very confident that within the next year, by the tail end of next year, rates will settle. And then therefore, it will start really pushing the market forward again because the prices will be lower and more palatable for buyers and investors. Now, the other thing is this, if you're a person who has to sell their house and then buy another house, your time is now. Yes, your house may not be worth what it was during January and February, but you also must know the property you're buying is not worth as much either. So there is a relative factor to this. If your house is not worth as much, the house you're buying is not worth as much. And for buyers who've been kind of sitting back for three to four years, kind of waiting to see what's what, I'm telling you, your time is now. There is great buys out there and there is already sellers who are taking advantage of this because like I said, this relative factor, and if you've owned your house for 10 years, the amount of equity you've incurred over those 10 years gives you great opportunities to buy up. So as much as the narrative is that the interest rates, interest rates, interest rates, the truth of the matter is yes, the market right this second is not very strong. There is very diminished demand and there is a lot of houses for sale. But again, this is what happens during a correction. People are trying to figure out the new price points People are trying to figure out affordability with the new mortgage rates. And again, like I said, everyone is a little hesitant right now. But again, the prices are becoming attractive. I can already feel it from last week. The amount of people starting to reach out and even comment that these prices are attractive, which gives me good confidence that this is going to start moving forward. So please, if you are a buyer looking to buy a home and you want some extra insight and you want to understand values, because not going to lie, a lot of houses right there out there right now are overpriced. Again, because those sellers are trying to catch the fumes of something that's just not there anymore. But there's also a lot of sellers who are noticing these new prices of houses and wanting to buy them. So for the people who are looking to sell and buy up or sell and buy down, guys, you can get conditions in our properties. You can do sale of property conditions again. I have numerous listings that my sellers would be more than happy to accept the sale of property offer. So there is great opportunities for you buyers. So please, again, the narrative being put out there is not quite what is actually going to happen in the end in this real estate market. We are anticipating, again, rates to go down next uh, to the tail end of next year. 
And that means by 2024, you're going to start seeing this market move again and prices go up. So again, a seller who just wants to sell and cash out, if you can be patient and wait, there will be good times ahead for you again. It's not too far off in your future. It's not like it's five, eight years away. It will come back. This is really what happened in 2017. And I feel that exactly what happened in 2017 is going to happen again. Because here's some other things in the background that no one's really talking about or mentioned that we know is going to happen. Number one, new construction. New construction starts are down, therefore not creating a supply of new inventory, let alone immigration. Over the next decade, they plan on bringing in four to five million people in our country. Okay? So with that being said, our housing supply is at a shortage. And that is the overall issue. I also want to touch on affordability. Unfortunately, affordability is going to be a growing concern for a very, very long time. All right? So for first-time home buyers, I feel for you. Home ownership in Canada is going to become very, very challenging. So again, now may be your opportunity to get into this market. Please don't hesitate to contact Davidson Delot and lean on us for your advice in buying. As well as if you're a seller, we are more than happy to set up a free home evaluation with no obligation to discuss the market and figure out what's going to work best for you. Not saying now's your time but we can at least educate you through the next number of years if you're a seller to tell you when the prime time to sell is, but we have lots of great information and I think a lot of people are gonna miss the boat if they don't start getting active now because I'm confident in the next few years that this market will come back. This is exactly what happened again, like I said, in 2017 and 2020, COVID or not, the market was going to come back on fire. So please uh, like us on Facebook, give us a subscribe. We can keep you up to date with our future monthly update videos, as well as some other cool stuff we have coming through the pipeline. And Niagara, get out there and buy.